In Ohio, a related problem caused a split of another kind. One of the Cleveland members of the Akron group, Clarence Snyder, began to realize that as long as the self-help group was tied to the Oxford group, it could never hope to assimilate Catholics, Jews, or agnostics. The majority of the fellows that were going down to the Oxford group with me were Catholics. A Catholic in those days, they were not permitted by their church to belong to such a group as the Oxford movement. So something had to be done. I said, all we need is a 12-step program, the four absolutes, and anyone can live with that. So I went down to Akron the next week and made the announcement that this is the last time the Cleveland contingent will be down here as a group. We are starting our own group in Cleveland, Ohio, at 2345 Stillman Road, Cleveland Heights. And this is not going to be an Oxford group. This is going to be known as Alcoholics Anonymous. We're taking the name from the book. And only alcoholics and their families are welcome. We have a program, and if people will accept this program, it's foolproof. You can't ever drink again if you accept and apply the AA program. It's impossible. I don't sponsor new people anymore. I don't have the time. But I have people, when I do find a new person, I usually turn him over to someone who I've talked to before and taken through the steps and let them work on him. They need that exercise. But what I get is this. I get people who have been around AA or in AA. Some have been dry, some of them haven't over a period of year, years. And they hear about this nut down in Castleberry, Florida, who has some peculiar way of fixing drunks in two days. It takes you through the steps in two days and you never drink anymore and you have a good life.